Okay, I don't know if we ever talked about this, but I jumped in the water with our GoPro not closed and completely fried it. So she broke my GoPro. We are super distraught about it. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because we're about to dive in on the anchor and I can't show you how beautiful it is under there. Hopefully soon we're gonna get one of our friend one of our friends to uh, fly us a GoPro over. But guys, it's absolutely amazing. Like everything has been worth it for this moment. <laughs> We just spent $98 on like five things at the grocery store. <laughs> the chicken was $21. <laughs> Highborn Key. We got here yesterday uh, and today, well, we were anchored at West Bay 2. For anybody wondering, it was beautiful, really, really good holding. We had some, across from the Highborn Marina. Yeah, uh, really good holding. We had some rough weather last, well, it was just rough, like, being in there. Uh, so we're going to try to go somewhere else just to check things out. Winds are coming from the south and there's not much protection in the Exumas from the south period. Uh, so we're just gonna go find somewhere new to hang out today. I don't know what these are, but it just looks like line attached to floaty thingies. Maybe sailors have put up to mark their place here. I have just made our own. It is a rock and the line is not very strong at all, so it will probably fall. We're in Highborn Key. We're on the east side of the island. Come take a photo with the Zola brain coral rock thing. So we're sitting here, got the fire going on the beach like you guys already saw. Show them the view we have sitting right here. So we're back there chilling. It's all this beautiful reef. And all I can think is, oops, is when we were starting, you know, our journey looking for the boat, so many people t was told us, oh, like, you can't do that in a sailboat, you can't do it in a monohull, because we couldn't afford a catamaran. Looking back, I'm gl really glad we started with the monohull, but so many people were just telling us, like, oh, that's not practical, what are you going to do for money, you can't do that, you're going to leave your job, this, that, and the other, and... At the end of the day, everyone who's selling us that is kind of trapped. You know, they're trapped in, a lot of people say the rat race for the nine to five, and this is just so great that it's, you know, it's crazy more people don't do this. We're in the Exumas with the fire. It's, life is good. So if you're thinking about it, do it. It's worth every trouble, every trial you're gonna face. It's a 
amazing. And this is just the beginning for us. We're we're just getting going and it's already amazing. <laughs> the next morning. Uh, we just left the east side of the island. It honestly wasn't that bad of a night. We it was thought the best night we've had in a while. Huh? Yeah, we thought it was gonna be a lot worse, but it was pretty good. I don't think people usually do that. Yeah, and it's not even like categorized as an anchorage. Um, we'll show you on the maps where we were. But we are now sailing out a bit. Wind is coming from the south. Sailing okay. skills are a little rusty. We haven't been doing it enough lately. <laughs> I know. Wind is coming from the south, so we're just gonna head out east and then head west we're to our next hauled. spot. We're you go guys wanna see our sails? They look pretty good right now. But anyways. We're gonna go to Norman's Key today and go see that crashed plane, the plane wreck. What do you think? Say it with you. I don't care what you say, our rail's almost in the water. Yeah. Oh, We did briefly stop at Norman's Key to go check out the plane. There wasn't much there, so we decided to keep heading south. This is Saddleback Key. We really, really, really wish we could have anchored here, but there were two boats there and two boats too many. Uh, we could not set the anchor and there just wasn't enough room, so we decided to keep heading south. Uh, this is on our bucket list coming back up because it was just absolutely beautiful. If you have the opportunity to stay here, I highly recommend. And rolling. Hello. All right, we are now in the um, land and sea park. So we are pulling into Shroud Key in the land and sea park. You have to pay to anchor or they have like mooring fields and you can't fish or spear fish or any of that. Which is cool because hopefully there'll be a ton of cool snorkeling and stuff to see. Yes. Our old friend Ed at Harbridge, which thank you Ed, you're amazing. You've given us so much advice, especially on this trip. Ed it's is like Manor's boating dad. My boat dad. <laughs> <laughs> but his favorite place is Hawksbill Key. Which and is a little bit south of Shroud. So we're gonna definitely check that out either this evening or tomorrow. On the dinghy. Little baby Zola back there. Yeah. We were lazy and left the engine on, but hey, we're still doing good. What, five and a half knots? Show them the view. Hi, baby. Okay, folks, Woo! we have moored for the second time. Nelly kind of <laughs> forgot what she was doing up there, but. Hey, but I hooked it. That's all that matters. She didn't let go. All right, I'm gonna show you guys where we're at. This is Shroud Key. We're moored right here by the little mooring thingy. Uh, we're moored in like seven, eight feet of water at low tide, but it seems okay. And a bunch of boats here. This is amazing. Alright, so we just ding it to the opposite side. We're on the opposite side of this little ledge thing. It is so smooth over here, but it's too shallow for us to anchor. Or we more. need a catamaran. Yeah, we do. But we're about to go dingy through the little mangroves. See how they are. 
just checking our depth with my toes. There's a lot of the manual depth finder on the dinghy. <laughs> and must-sees of Shroud Key is its mangroves. It's just little rivers of beautiful water with a bunch of sea life. Honestly, one of the most beautiful things we've ever seen and experienced. The trick is to come in at high tide so you can go all the way through the mangroves to the other side of the island. But we came in at low tide. It was actually pretty cool. We got stuck at a little sandbar in the middle of this mangrove and we got to kind of hang out and explore a little bit and it was, it was really, really neat. We're doing our morning breakfast. I've been making these um, cheesy egg sandwiches and they're so freaking good. And can you really beat this view? I don't think so. Uh, I was reading this blog about the Exumas and fun places to go. And in Shroud Key, apparently there's something called the washing machine that outside of one of the mangroves or coming out of one of the mangroves, it's like a natural lazy river and you jump in inside and it brings you out to the ocean. Um, it's not like intense or anything, it doesn't sweep you out, but sounds fun, so we're gonna go try to find it. For anyone who comes to Shroud Key and goes in this mangrove, I guess you'll know which mangrove it is if you find our rock structure. We've built, built our Zola's. rock structure. The Zola rock structure. Pretty cool to me. <laughs> You're seeing me at a vulnerable hour here. <laughs> When I was young, my mom, I hated the water, so my mom made me do swimming lessons because I like just refused to ever get in. And at the swimming lessons, they one of the first things they taught us was diving. And because I showed up like a few days late, so I'm sure I missed like doggy paddling and stuff. And I had the first couple times they forced me to go, I swallowed a bunch of water and then no one came and got me, so I thought I was drowning. And then I think like since then I've had this like terrible fear of like actual diving into the water. I'll swim around with fins on like with sharks and stuff all day long, no worries. But for whatever reason, actually diving is like, I've never been able to do it. So today we're trying to learn. For a little bit. That was so much better! Oh, so nice. What's that thing behind you? Ah! It's becoming one with the ocean right now. Today didn't have the ending I wanted it to, but I think we made a little progress. Thanks. So. In life, that's all you can really hope for is a little progress. That's you know? right. Hello. Okay, we are leaving Shroud Key. Uh, I'm actually really sad. I love Shroud Key. I think it's my favorite so far. Hopefully, maybe we'll. I'll have more favorites, but like the mangroves, going back in them, it's just like so beautiful. Insane. And we didn't even get to go 
like far into them because we we were at low tide every time we went into them. But we are leaving Shroud Key and heading to Hawksville Key. It's one of Ed's favorite places ever, so we're excited. I don't know. I don't know if it can beat this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, please hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for next time when we head from Shroud Key all the way down to Wardrick Wells, stopping at Hawksville in between.